everybody. Welcome to another episode of Baking with the Rapids. Joining me in the bake shop tonight is number 78, Vincent de Rollet. Bienvenue, Vincent. Thank you. <laughs> so, can you tell everybody what we're going to make today? Yes, we're going to do my little sugar pie today. Sugar pie, yep. right. So, the first step in making a pie is making the crust. So, we're going to start with that. Okay. In your food processor, you have flour. So, you can add the cream cheese and the butter in there. So I just put All right, so just pick it up with your hands. That's why we washed our hands. It's because we're going put everything? To, we're going to touch everything. Yep. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> put it all uh, in there. Awesome. Wow. And you can wipe your hands on your nice apron. Oh. Yes. So you don't get your clothes dirty. That's why you wear it. So you can turn it on. Flip the switch up. Oh. And once it starts to form a ball, then you can shut it off. A ball. A ball. It's going to all come <laughs> in the mixer. There you go. Almost done. You see how it's in a ball? Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Now I'll open First step up. done. Wow. Your crust is done. So we'll get some flour and rolling pins and roll it up. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I'll kind of spit that in. Okay. Minnesota. Parfait. Let's put it. So like it. Yep. Je pense que j'en mets. Oui, oui. Oh, yeah. Put it. Oui. It's easier to roll out when it's coated in flour. So kind of flatten it in a disc and then put it on the table. Oh. Oh no. It's perfect. It's what he wants okay. behind the camera. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Other side. Yeah, you ready? So we'll roll it out. Oh. Ready? So you just roll. And then we'll turn it the other way. And roll it in. So we're gonna keep rolling it. Rolling. So kind of a circle shape. Rolling. And you keep, <laughs> keep turning your dough. Put it on the other side. Right. Whoop. There you Doop. go. Rolling. And rolling. Good job. So you want it, we're going to roll it out enough so that it will fit this pie plate that I didn't measure, but. I think it fits. You think it fits? So yep. you can hold your pie plate over to kind of oh, give you an yeah. idea if that'll work or not. <clears throat> that way you don't have to lift it up too many yeah. times. Almost. So if your dough is sticking, you can just kind of lift it up in spots and shoot some more flour underneath of it. Like this? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you're doing a great job. So is it going to fit in your pie plate? Yep. Yep? Yep, I think yep. so. Okay, can you lift it up? Kind of like, excellent. And then just throw it in there. Oh, okay. Meredith. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it. There. There you go. So then you can just kind of push it out a little bit to fill in the corners. You don't necessarily need it to go over the top like mine is. Okay. I'm going to cut off the excess on mine. Is it okay if, I, if mine got a hole in it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. If you have any big holes, you can use my scraps to oh, fill yeah. them if you want. Gordon Ramsay. You're the next one. 
<laughs> yeah. He should watch out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, how are you making out with yours? I think it's pretty good. Good? Okay, so we will put these in the fridge while we make the filling. Perfect. All right, All right next step. In your bowl, you have brown sugar and flour. So you want to mix it together so that there's no clumps of brown sugar. So you have to be very nice and kind of stir it with your spoon. Wait. All together. All together? Yeah. You want it nice and smooth. Yeah, keep going. You don't want to see the white. 12 seconds later. All right, all smooth good. out. Look good to you? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to crack the eggs. You're going to crack your egg into this bowl so that we don't get any shell in your pie. I put it in the Wait. bowl? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Pretty good. Very good. No shell. Good job. Spin my head on a bit. So one egg in there. I'll be right in. And then you'll do it again with that one. Even better than the first one. Good job. Poop. Okay, so now you want to stir those eggs into the brown sugar. Can I mix it? Yep. It's going to be almost like a paste when it's all mixed together. One minute, 37 seconds later. That's great. Oh, that's a training. <laughs> that's what? The training. Oh. All right. So in this bowl, you have vanilla. You can add to that. And then you'll add this whole can of milk as well. The whole thing? The whole thing. Got to be careful. Don't cut yourself, yes. Yes. Good job. Okay, so you want to stir it until you can't see any more streaks of milk. A little longer than a few minutes later. Keep going. Because you want it to be a brown, like right now it looks like the color of milk, so you want it to yeah. be more of the brown of the brown sugar. One nap later. That's good. Nice and smooth. Yep. Great. So we'll get the crust and we'll pour that in. Okay, so I'll just get you to dump the mixture into the pie crust. Should be able to fit almost all of it in there. Tell me when to stop. I think you're good. Excellent. So we have the oven preheated. We'll take the cookie sheet and we'll bake it on the bottom rack. <gasps> <laughs> no, it's got it. It's got it. That's what the parchment paper is for. No, that's good. Good job. Thank you. So while your pie is in the oven, I thought that we could just chit chat a little bit. Okay. Plus confortable de parler en français, c'est certain que tu peux parler en français. Okay. Grâce aux ces communautés bilingues, donc c'est comme tu veux. Last night's game. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Return to play. So everybody's excited to get the season going again. So what was the feeling going into the game? I was pretty good being with the boys. Tout le monde était excité. Mais c'est sûr qu'on a du travail un peu à faire. Mais on va prendre ça. Puis c'était juste... C'est incroyable d'en venir dans un mindset de game. Mm -hmm. Mais il y a aussi des nouveaux joueurs. Exact, oui. Donc, so, vous avez eu trois semaines de pratique, je pense, avant le ouais, game Oui, trois semaines, je pense, en zone orange qu'on a pu pratiquer. Okay. Euh, mais c'est sûr que les nouveaux joueurs, ça faisait plus que deux mois qu'ils n'avaient pas joué. Ça faisait une... même, je pense qu'ils n'avaient même pas joué de l'année. Ça se peut. Okay. Euh, c'est sûr que les autres étaient très excités d'en de venir au jeu. Puis, euh, on a un, un très bon noyau de le joueur, donc euh, oui. c'est sûr que c'était le fun. Not the finish that you wanted, ça a fini 4-3, c'est yeah. quand même assez proche. 
uh, but not the goal that everybody's going for, right? So, have you any practice today? Yep. Oui. Uh, 9 a.m. Got to okay. practice. Mm -hmm. Work on the things we did. Uh, we not we not did correctly mm -hmm. yesterday. So yeah. Okay. So just working on what went wrong, so yeah. to speak, yesterday. Yeah. And moving forward. Yeah. Okay. So another game on Friday. Here at home. Yeah. Right? Okay. For the return, yeah. So um, this is your last year of junior hockey and ending it kind of strange with COVID. Um, is there anything that you wish, obviously, not having COVID would be top of the list, right? Yeah. But is there anything that you wish had been different or anything you would have done differently? Uh, no, I think that's the best decision I, decision I made to come here because uh, you know, I was playing junior AAA. Uh, and uh, the junior in Quebec, like they don't play this year, so I think that's the best decision I made to come to come here to play. We played uh, 14 games now, 15, so that's gonna give me some chance to play university next year. So that's the best decision I made to come here. Good for you. Yeah. So that is the goal next year is to play yeah. university hockey. Yeah. Okay. Have you started applying at universities? So yeah, a little minutes? bit in USA, in the okay. in the Canada. Okay. Yeah, I don't know yet, but okay. So the options are open. Yeah. Good for you. Thank so you. So where did you start your hockey career? Where did it all start? I uh, start. Uh, I was uh, 18 years old in uh, Momangi. Uh, I just did a, a training camp. Like I didn't know if I'm gonna make the team or so, but turns out I, I did a team, and now I work my my way up, and now I'm in the MHL. Good. Yeah. Very nice. So are you lonesome? You haven't been home for a long time because of COVID, <laughs> right? Yeah. So is that hard? Do you find it hard to be away from home? and? Uh, missing my, my mom, my dad, mm -hmm. my friend. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we FaceTime a little bit and pretty good. I'm missing, I'm missing them, but they, they know what I'm like because of COVID, you know, mm -hmm. and like they wish everything the best for me for Like they say, you're playing this year. So imagine being in Quebec and not playing. So it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And other players have said the same thing that they're yeah the focus is on playing and having the opportunity and that families are understanding exactly and your billet family i'm sure has helped make the most of it for you yeah yeah the my little uh, serge gay and uh, jose patro mm -hmm. and the little noah gay mm -hmm. yeah and the four dogs don't oh, forget a few the, dogs there don't yes. forget the four dogs the little two cats and the ten chickens <laughs> It's yeah. a full house. Yeah, yeah. And you have a billet brother on top of that. Exactly. I have uh, my little Nikki, <laughs> my little boy, <laughs> my little brother. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, nice. Funny. Full house. Yeah, my so, funny billet bros. Oh, okay. <laughs> so during lockdown, there was lots for you guys to do then, right? Oh, yeah. We have an outside outdoor rink. And uh, we were with Tyler. Mm -hmm. Tyler joined us uh, mm -hmm. during the red zone. So mm -hmm. a lot of movement in the, mm -hmm. in the house was mm -hmm. fun. But. Yeah, I think we saw a video of what you guys were doing yeah. during lockdown. <laughs> yeah, the training. The exercises yeah. and the stuff. Mm -hmm. Playing on the outdoor rink. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so one of the things um, the players have said, the nice thing about COVID is that it has really brought the team bonding really, really together, right? Because you can't really be with other people. Yeah. The team is your bubble. Yeah, exactly. So. It's like a second family. Like for the guy from the outside of New Brunswick, we, it's been like, seven months we didn't see us, our family mm -hmm. just the boys in the team billet and all stuff so we're always with the guy in the team so we build together and that's it yeah great relationships on yeah. and off the ice exactly right? yeah and it shows too in the game that you guys are a really tight group yeah so how old were you when you started playing hockey six i think yeah six. novice okay yeah. and you stuck with it you just loved it oh love the love the game and my friends were playing were playing too so okay who was your favorite player growing up? Hmm. I will say now it's Miro Eskinen staying for Dallas, but I will say when I was young, maybe I will say Ovechkin. Yeah. Okay. Very good player. Okay. And is that who kind of influenced you in the game a little bit? Yeah, but uh, you know, I, I got some friends and we always want to push each other. So mm -hmm. always, oh, I'm playing. Uh, Triple A, oh, I'm playing double A, and you want to jump up to join your friends. So, yep. yeah, they push me, we push each other. And oh, nice. 
next yeah. competition and keep yeah. going. Yeah, always. Awesome. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. You make it to the NHL and it's game time. You're sitting on the bench and the camera comes over to your face. Who are you going to say hi to? My mom. Your mom? Well, that's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, you did a mic'd up session on the ice. Yes, what did you think of that? It was pretty fun. Uh, yeah. in, you know, play, I was uh, with my little French uh, friends, playing, mm -hmm. always speaking French for the, for the guy in Quebec watching, watching us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. do you always sing? You, you sang a lot on your mic session. So do you always sing like that during practice? Oh yeah, yes. always. In the car, at my billet, always. I always. love uh, some Celine Dion. I, oh, I love that's this. very nice. Yeah. yeah, you could maybe give us a taste of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can. You Why not? Microphone. You got the microphone on? Why not? Later. Okay. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Another part of your mic'd up session was uh, talking about a cookie jar. Where does mama keep the cookie jar? <laughs> Top shelf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My kids loved that. <laughs> they kept saying it for days after. <laughs> oh, it was so good. The baker in me loved that part especially. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I had prepared a pie for you earlier um, that I thought you could taste. Yeah, it taste for just sure. like the one that you just made. So let me know what you think. I won't watch you. <laughs> Give you a moment with your pie. <laughs> so much to put in. Very good. I hope mine is going to taste like this. Yours is going to taste exactly like that. Yeah? Yes. Promise. Very good. My yeah. dad's going to love this. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to share? Yeah. Always. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> so it's time to take your pie out of the oven. Good job. Looks great. Pretty good. It looks fantastic. So it will settle more as it cools and then you'll have to put it in the fridge for okay. it to, um, to solidify it completely and then you can eat it tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much for coming today. It was a lot Thank of fun. Thank you to you. <laughs>